Restaurant week isn't until the end of January, but today we are continuing our tour of local restaurants that are taking part in Restaurant Week. Today, we are at Barley's Brew House off of 119th and Quivera in Overland Park. Joining me, we have head chef uh, Vladimir Vergara. Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Um, obviously, a big part of Restaurant Week, uh, showcasing local restaurants and a portion of the proceeds going to Harvesters. Yes, they are. 10% of all our sales from the special menu that we're doing will go to harvesters. And one of, one of the items on that special menu is a pork tenderloin. It You're going to teach us how to it make is, today. I will. It is a burnt pork, eight spice pork tenderloin. It's okay. got uh, eight spices in it that we take in a pan and we will uh, actually burn them or char them, get them to like a black stage. And then we'll put them with some vinegar and some olive oil and some sugar and marinate them overnight, saute it. and. Serve it with some other things that we got over here. Interesting. All right. Well, let's make this thing. So All these right. are the eight spices. Why don't we go through these spices as we All put right. them in the, the pan? The first spice we got there is cumin seed. Okay. So we're going to put it in the pan. And, and is, is this pan pre preheated? It is. It is preheated pan. You can start it when it's hot or when it's cold. Doesn't really matter. Just as long as the spices get burnt up. Okay. Uh, here we have bay leaf. Bay leaf. So put that in. And then we have whole cloves. Whole cloves. And there we have uh, coriander seed. Coriander. And there we have mustard seed. Okay. Next spice we have is Szechuan peppercorns. Cinnamon stick. Just put the sticks in? Yep, just put the sticks right in. They'll start to open up as they get heated up. Okay. And the last spice we have is star anise. What is this called? Star anise. It's kind of has that kind of black licorice scent to it or flavor to it. And you can see it's starting to smoke up and it's starting to burn. And as, as they toast up and they'll get naturally black, we'll, uh, we'll start to pop here. Don't worry about that. It's just something that happens. It's kind of like popcorn. <laughs> so That's interesting. Yeah, we'll get, Should you wear eyeglasses so you don't get blinded yeah, by That's it? why I wear my glasses. <laughs> yeah. Don't get too close. <laughs> yeah. So we do that there. And as we're cooking that, we'll... As it comes along, great. This is what it all comes down to right here. How long do you have to cook it before it looks like that? It'll be probably about five, ten minutes. Somewhere around that range. You and you can smell it. Yeah, you can, you can even really see it coming it. off it. It smells so, really good. And what you do is you'll take it and we'll put it into a coffee grinder. Okay. And we'll just buzz them up. Well, let's turn it on. Buzz it up Maybe through the I coffee Maybe I should turn grinder. it on first. Basically mixing all those spices yes. together. Mixing them all up together. And as they mix together, they'll turn into a nice, like, black powder. It's okay if the the cinnamon is still a little chunky. You'll still be able to pull some of the flavor from it. And what we're going to do is add half a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also add three fourths of a cup of red wine vinegar. Okay. And one cup of olive oil. What we'll do is we'll stir it up. Let's all stir it up. We'll take our pork loins, put them right in there, and just mix them around. How long are you going to keep it in here? Uh, I will keep this in for 24 hours. Oh, okay. So just keep it. Do you want to cover it up? With yes, we will wrap? cover it up with saran wrap. And then uh, as it goes along for that day, we'll do this. And So now you've got another pan, and now we've got to cook it up. Now we got to cook it up. And what you want to do before you cook it up is you want to take it and pat it down on some paper towels to get some of that excess oil off. So we'll do that. Put a little oil in the pan just to get it going. There's still a little bit on there, but take and it How off. long would you keep that on the pan? We will probably saute this for about eight minutes on the pan, get all the sides brown, and then we'll put it into the oven for another four or five minutes, and it's done. Excellent. And you've got the finished product. You can go ahead and show us what it ends up looking like. We have it right here, the finished product. Oh, that looks excellent. What we'll do is we'll slice it up. What do you serve this with? Uh, we will be serving it this week with, uh, or for that restaurant week, we will be serving it with butternut squash gnocchis and sautéed French green beans. You can see it right there. The gnocchi is uh, a pasta, isn't it? It is. It is actually a dumpling. It is an Italian dumpling. Interesting. Just cut it, it looks up. really good. It smells really good as well. And then we will just set it right on top. I'm going to steal a piece of this and sure. give it a try. How is that? It's excellent. It's, yeah, it's got a it's, really unique taste yes, to it. Yes, it's something that you don't, you won't expect, but once you, it kind of reminds you of Christmas and and the holidays. Kind of like a black licorice taste to yeah. it a little bit. You can tell. So and and, I'll be, and down here we have some more dishes that you're going to be serving. We do. For we also uh, for Restaurant Week uh, we'll be serving our duck confit salads, uh, fingerling potatoes and mixed greens with goat cheese and golden raisins and some duck confit, and uh, our uh, big barley, our house. Uh, 
hamburger. So, uh, so again, the last week of January, Restaurant Week, a great uh, excuse to get out to your yeah, local restaurant, support good. your local restaurants. 10% of all the proceeds going to harvesters. As far as this pork tenderloin goy, we have the uh, recipe on our website. Just go to kctv5.com.